Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee, blueheronarts.com. Today we have a live uh, workshop, a private class with uh, Erin. You, you won't see her in <laughs> my video. But, uh, um, so it's a one-on-one -on -one hand on uh, class. Uh, we will start from uh, uh, preparing some uh, uh, utensils or uh, tools. Um, here we have uh, some brushes from Erin. Uh, uh, she brought uh, her favorite two brushes. Uh, these are the Western watercolor brushes and also some uh, Oriental brushes you can get from uh, Wab uh, Wabi Hobby. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or, or here they call Michaels and other arts craft stores. Um, I was. Uh, these brushes. I will say they're um, um, just like uh, you know the uh, the I won't say cheap quality, but uh, it's the like uh, for us it's uh, it's not usable in most cases for if you are serious artist and you see why um, the criter criterion for good brush. So let's talk about uh, the uh, requirement for a Chinese brush. Um, I also have some brushes from Blue Heron Arts for comparison. So let me uh, start from this group. If you look at uh, this uh, this uh, this brush and uh, this Western um, watercolor brush uh, comes in different shapes. They could be pointed like this. But when they make the point, they usually cut into the shape. So uh, it doesn't come with the natural uh, tip of, of the hair. If we look at uh, the uh, natural animal hair in microscope, you will see the hair actually comes with a natural uh, sharp tip. It's usually oily, uh, but they have to get oil out to make it absorbent. Um, so in the in a uh, good Chinese brush, it should be uh, the tip should be uncut, uh, and when you when you spray it, this tip should be at the same level. Uh, so many of these brushes uh, look like a fan shape when you spread it. Uh, you know, it's not flat, um, and they are designed to do. You know, just the one kind of stroke, uh, like use the, the point, or yeah. uh, if it's flat, you do the surface with. Uh, so, if you try to make a Chinese brush, uh, I mean Chinese uh, calligraphy stroke, brush stroke with this kind of brush, uh, you can see. Uh, let me just use uh, this one. It looks like a. a Squirrel mop. What is this? Sable, sable brush. Sable is a, is a good uh, animal here, but you can see um, if it. Uh, well, if you are skillful, you can use toothbrush to paint. <laughs> but um, for me, uh, I think the the bottom is. The, the, because the brush is not at the same length, you know, some, uh, um, it's hard to get the smooshy okay. uh, stroke, what do you call this, uh, the, the rounded end, you know. Okay. Um, so because it's not, this one may be very close to Chinese one. This is not too bad. Okay. Um, this one, your favorite one, I, I, I did earlier. This is too soft, I think. With a soft brush, you need more skill okay. uh, to control it. And uh, certainly, I think uh, for synthetic, it's too spring, I think it would be. You see, yeah. I cannot get the, you see, this, this, uh, the shape. Uh, I cannot get this uh, rounded, uh, rounded uh, yeah. stroke. 
or you, you cannot hide the tip, you know, because it will, it will be very rough. But you can use that for landscape, you know, for okay. if you like some. Uh, so any brush is useful. Uh, let me see, this one might be also has a synthetic brush. You can see it splits. That's why, because it's not, it's not even. So the first criteria is even. The second criterion is uh, rounded. So it, it, it should be not, you know, like uh, one side short or uh, the all side is short, unless you have a special design for that. Sometimes we only use the tip of the brush, so you may have in two steps. Uh, but most brush should be rounded. So uh, flat or even rounded and pointed. So a good brush should be pointed. Not like a, a cut point, you know, this okay. uh, is pointed, but you can only do one kind of uh, stroke. If you spread it, uh, you see, you will. Uh, the point actually, when you cut, is not as natural. So let me show you the. This is a soft brush in our you know, uh, basic. Uh, Set basic set of three brushes. This is a whistle hair. So they all meet the, this uh, um, requirement. The fourth requirement is the uh, spring. For a good brush, it should have the bounce. Some, you know, even the soft brush should also bounce back to, to its shape. You see, it, it should go back to the original shape. So flat, flat means uh, even uh, with the tip and rounded. Uh, rounded may also mean that the brush uh, handle should be straight. Uh, so these are not rounded, <laughs> maybe, you know, not even. So if it, there's a, you know, a natural shape of a stick or something, that's not good. Uh, rounded and uh, pointed and usually when you have a new brush, you use it for calligraphy when it's very pointed. When it becomes old and uh, um, split, you can use that for landscape or some uh, other functions okay. for painting. You know. um, the, the fourth character is the, the bouncing, the, you know, the spring. So even Rounded, pointed, and spring are the four requirements when you choose a good brush. Let's see how these uh, brushes work. Um, this is when the when the brush is new, you cannot really tell because uh, it's glued, right? So you, you you have to open it. Some hair are um, kind of. I, I think even also it includes you know they they come to uh, like a dance you know not uh, yeah. uh, with a lot of space because some <coughs> hair is short so you can tear it. Okay. Uh, uh, the short hair should stay in the in the middle for reservoir, but uh, but you know the tip could be flattened should be good flat. And you will see loose hair which is not. Like, uh, good thing. Some new, good, even good new brush will have occasional loosening hair. You can just take it out. But if it's too much, uh, keep doing that. It's not, not very good. So, uh, and the point, this one is not very sharp, you see. It's not possible to make the, the kind of stroke. And if you do it on your own, you'll see the difference. Just compare these two. Okay. Uh, you can see the difference. Yes. You see, yeah. <laughs> so the the pointed and the bouncing. Try. Uh, Big difference. Try yeah. Try the bouncing. 
um, try bouncing and spring. Also, um, try to make an even line to see if it's rounded. Uh, just try to put the tip of the brush in the middle of the stroke. Yeah, see that's uh, if you try, if you use the round brush to try to make a, a good stroke, it takes uh, more practice or skill. Uh, that's why uh, there's a story between uh, Chinese master Zhang Da Qian. He traveled to France to meet Picasso in the early 60s or late 50s, uh, I forgot. 1958, I think, where, when the summit was in Nice in France. And uh, Picasso showed uh, Zhang Da Qian his uh, bamboo practice, Sumi practice. And Zhang said, uh, um, your tool is not correct. Uh, so he, he gave him a gift, like a, uh, a killer brush. Uh, that's also we have not here, I'll show you later. So the, let me just grab that as we speak. <laughs> So this is a, a Zhang Da good uh, Zhang Da Qin brush. This brush uh, is quite uh, big, but it can also do very detailed work. Uh, it it kind of you know it bounces back. You can you can try this one. It's a Zhang Da Qin Picasso brush. Zhang Da Qin to Picasso oh, wow. brush. Yeah. And it just feels different. Right? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, you can do a bigger stroke and small stroke. Just uh, draw from top down. Yeah, try, try, yeah, try to vary the pressure. It's very responsive. This good brush can worth like 10 years of practice. I can do the same kind of stroke with your brush because I'm more skilled for trying to simulate you know, yours. But I need to to have lots of control, kind of, <laughs> you know, uh, twisting or the, uh, adjusting. Uh, so and that's all best brush, by the way, the killer brush. Um, so this about the same in <laughs> different uh, different uh, size. This is the soft brush. Uh, this is probably the best in the collection you have. Okay. It's, a, it's a brush that you can use to, to do uh, this kind of stroke. Oh. Uh, we call it a side brush stroke. It, it can also use uh, vertically to write if you are very skillful because it's a soft brush. It loads more moisture. Uh, yeah, it's just too soft mm -hmm. for beginners. Uh, but the soft brush actually can do more things because it's flexible, so you can you can do exactly what you want. But uh, it won't really help because the shape doesn't really come back. You have to adjust it with your your fingertips. Uh, I will show you how to uh, control and hold hold the brush, handle the, the brush later. Um, this too, you have are very good maybe for details. Okay. Um, not the, the smallest, but it, for like a leaf, veins, we call it. This we call wolf brush. Oh. These are uh, sheep or goat brush. Wolf is actually not wolf, it's a small animal called a weasel. Oh. Uh, we, in Chinese we call that yellow wolf or rat uh, wolf. Okay. Uh, ye yellow rat wolf. They just pick the one word, wolf, <laughs> uh, from the Chinese name. So this also is not really pointed, so it may, may not do the de most detailed work. Compared with our uh, small weasel brush in the basic set, you can see it, oh. it can really do a tiny, you know, like a whisker um, of a cat. But you cannot really, other than it looks you know, close, but Kind of, you can you can use it for um, like small leaves or uh, yeah, just uh, you know, 
and he the baby small branches uh, or veins. Okay. Yeah. They're not really stiff enough. You can try this one and compare it to this one. Just to see the difference. Yeah, so uh, pointed, bouncing, and uh, flat, uh, even, rounded. Uh, the even and rounded uh, more has to do with the brush making. For us, most importantly, is bouncing and pointed, okay. round, round. Yeah, um, because all the Chinese brushes are meant to be uh, like even, so they come in the same length, not cut the shape. You know, not cut the, the, the tip. Um, but some poor brush, they don't come in natural tip. That's why the point is not so okay. good. Yeah. Not so easy to make it pointed. Um, and we also have uh, uh, some, we call it combination brush, I like to suggest. Because uh, like these two, when this is new, it's uh, white sheep hair surrounds the wolf hair uh, core. This one is uh, rabbit hair, different. Mm -hmm. The stiff rabbit hair uh, is black and uh, soft uh, black, uh, I mean soft white rabbit hair surrounds the stiff. Maybe the center is not really rabbit, it's uh, kind of a wolf. Or they not, nowadays they also substitute that with the synthetic. Um, so it's a mix of a, a combination. Mix is like a, they blend together. This one is a combination. Yeah. Okay. So you can try this one. Because this, this is the brush that can do both calligraphy and painting and the most versatile one. So it has the soft... Oh, it's so much smoother. Yeah, soft uh, outside okay. inside. It's different. So, um, I'll go through some uh, basic uh, strokes. Uh, you can you can borrow this brush. I will use uh, this regular combination brush of uh, stiff and soft wolf and sheep. That's the rabbit one. We just got a new line. Uh, so we will start from this uh, first character, uh, first stroke, the dot. This, uh, there's a line uh, indicates the outside and there's a, uh, like a guide uh, direction. You can see a little, little arrow here yes. on the top. It's pointed uh, uh, down. So you, you go down with a natural tip. Okay, so, and then goes back along the left side and lift. Yeah, perfect. Oh, well, good. <laughs> perfect. I think that brush uh, helps trying to use your own brush. I'm afraid. No. <laughs> no, okay. That's why I did not have success. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, now um, I'm trying to fill in this blank in one stroke. You don't have to worry about exactly but to close, you know, as much as yeah, I think that's the bottom could be a little stronger. It's like a, uh, the quotation mark. Okay. It's similar to that, you kind of goes up. So my brush is uh, kind of old, so the point is not as sharp as the new one. And if you do faster, maybe it's the maybe use a soft brush. I use this uh, sheep hair brush. This is uh, the basic, uh, not the basic. Three. Okay, this one is uh, just similar, but uh, goes down and then up uh, on along the right side. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are really good. <laughs> you're you're doing very good. <laughs> 
Yes, perfect. Okay. Does yeah. it have to be straight up and down? Yeah, you hold the brush like this, and let me show you. First of all, using your index finger and the thumb okay. to grab it, and then your middle finger pull the brush in like that, and then balance it with your ring finger and with the help of the small finger. Small finger doesn't touch the brush handle. Uh, notice the empty space in your palm, so you don't hold it like that. Or, or uh, somebody, if you want more control, you can uh, knock this joint, this on the sun. And we call this the uh, phoenix eye. So this okay. this shape here, and the other way is a dragon eye. It's more difficult oh. to do it this way, and you'll see the reason why. Okay. Um, because we 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 can easily turn the even even this way. You can turn the brush to adjust the tip when needed, especially when you change the direction of the stroke, um, and. Uh, so when you do that, this this three stroke, three finger, grab the brush. Okay. That's why you have to use all five fingers, not just use like a pencil. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So this uh, this grab it, and then you can use uh, um, the middle finger and thumb, or the some 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 people like uh, the index finger with thumb, or middle finger. Some artists, uh, okay. it is a personal uh, thing. <laughs> you know, if you prefer the middle finger you can do with the middle don't just change the direction so try to draw a circle without moving your wrist or arm just use your finger see if you can do it first left half then uh, the right half yeah just use your finger okay. try not to move your your wrist just you use your Twist, see my twisting? So twist the brush, so like a, this and that, so in both directions, like a half <laughs> circle, half circle. Or you can try to do a complete circle, but that's not good because you make the brush like a twisting. So we, we do oh. it like a half and half, half and half. Well, if you can do it with wrist, you don't have to use finger. So uh, this is a practice you can you, you can mobilize with the yeah, if you use your wrist if your wrist is flexible you can so everything every joint um, like if your shoulder can also control if you don't move your wrist you you can move your arm and the sh shoulder to do that and you can try to make a, a larger round uh, round shape with the same brush and uh, bigger bigger try to do it in fewer stroke or in one stroke yeah that's, that's good <laughs> try to control the, the, the ending so try to hide the tip inside the circle like you're doing a grape yeah. or a petal uh, on a Palm to palm blossom. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Try to do it one stroke, and you can, uh, if you can do this, uh, like this big. So the biggest one is like an egg size. Mm -hmm. So just do, you know, with your finger. So that's why you can move your finger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, good, very good. Okay, now uh, let's also uh, try to do uh, a square shape if you want. Yeah, that's almost there. So you can do a thin line. When we load the color or ink, the shade tonality may be different on the front. I mean, in, in the tip, the color or tone is darker. So this way you can keep the gradation. See, uh, just keep the tip on, on one side. Try to do that side first, and then go 
back to fill in the other part. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's good. Uh, now we continue with our stroke practice. Okay. Um, this uh, down stroke to the left with a dot uh, to start, and then just switch to the left. Okay, very good. Just an easy backward, back, backward, oh, back like backward, yeah. kind of like a. So this this important is the the dash. Um, we have one dot to height the tip. Then continue. You can consider that continuous dot 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 dot. And then a bigger dot to drop it up. And do it again. If you do it longer, it will be the next stroke. So start with the dot, and then lift a little bit, and then uh, press again, and then drop it up from downside. That's a good stroke to practice uh, as preparation for bamboo. Okay. If you turn it to 90 degree, oh. it will be bamboo. Yeah. So it goes uh, attacking the tip, and then moves, and then round it up the bottom. I mean the end. Okay, very good, very good. So this vertical one is just different direction, but uh, with this stroke, you you expose the tip in the end like you did with the, uh, the other slant stroke gradually. So you put a stop in the air instead of on the paper. Right. Okay. Try to control <laughs> that when you switch, uh, you you kind of you lift the brush like you know in the air, not uh, okay. drag it through too far. Yeah. Just imagine there's stop in the air. So it's different than this one. Goes goes back. It's a dot uh, instead of pointed end. Right. So this one is uh, is a it's a different uh, ending. The first time we 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 learn, you go down. And the uh, pulse goes back and change the tip to the left and then kick. So that to begin with, always like like that, hide the tip, and then goes down, pressing uh, a little bit curve to the left and then goes back, and then kick. Okay. Yeah, this this kick. Uh, it's like uh, this one, we call it uh, kiss chocolate stroke. <laughs> it's like, you know, you can also do this on thorns of a oh. rose. Yeah. That is change the, let do it again. Yeah, good. Okay. So you, you, you make a dot and then slant. To the left. The beginning could be a little uh, <laughs> softer. It's it's a it's more of a uh, we call this a preparation, not a solid stroke. Just like you 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 use a mop. You, when you go forward, you you, you go back first. Right? It goes like that, always rock the, you don't use it, yeah, exactly, yeah, the dot, the dot, and then it's, it's a short uh, slant stroke. This one is a flat um, wave stroke, not flat, wave stroke. This one is actually more common. 
Uh, this is most difficult one for most people. So this dot is relatively small, but uh, uh, the pressing of in this stroke is the most of all strokes. If the other stroke only use you know like a a quarter, this may go as 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 much as uh, one third or even half of this, the brush. The, the, here's the twisting. Mm. You try to lift it along the top line of the stroke. Twist uh, backwards. Twist like this way, uh, crosswise, and then you see pressing, right? And then while you lift, try to keep the tip along the top line. So press and then twist a little bit while you lift. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Just try to keep the top line straight. <laughs> It takes, let, let me show you again, uh, pressing, pressing, press, and then lift. You can, you, if you don't do the twist, you, you may miss a little bit, but if you do it and then twist around the outer line, the outer line, the upper line, you get. Press on. Keep it straight, keep it straight, yeah, it goes down, yeah, 